Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast. So in today's video, I will be discussing regarding the poison distribution and the poison process in the computer simulation modeling. So it's just based on the poison process, how it is generated and how the distribution actually takes place. So that all concept I've uh, figured out in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, what is the poison distribution and following the poison distribution, what is or how the poison process is actually constructed. So first of all this poison distribution its full name or the full length name given to this poison distribution is poison distribution user acceptance rejection technique for generation of random variates. So not just poison distribution but this entire thing. So it's like poison distribution user acceptance rejection technique for generation of random variates. Just that simple. And uh, now for generating this distribution you have like a poison random variable like for example say you have n that is the capital N with mean x and alpha greater than 0 and it has a probability mass function which has got that is the PMF. Uh, then according to the poison uh, distribution we will define this equation that is the probability of small n is equal to probability of capital N is equal to small n that is the random variable is equal to e raised to minus alpha into alpha raised to n divided by n factorial and this n has values 0, 1, 2, 3 up till infinite. So this is that uh, distribution equation which we use in the problem for solving the poison process. Next, uh, for generating the poison process you have this following sequence of steps which has got. So that says that first you have to set the value of n is equal to 0 and the p value as 1. So n value you can get from here that we use in the uh, calculating the probability and the value of p that is the probability you will keep it as 1. Next we have to generate a random number that is r n plus 1 and replace the probability that is p by p multiplied by r n plus 1. So this is like you have uh, the first random number as 1 then you will uh, generate the next random number as r 1 1 and the earlier if it has a probability that is r1 had the probability p then the new r11 will have the probability p into r11 so likewise you will calculate all the equations and following uh, when you reach the step 3 that is you will check if whether the value of probability is less than e raised to minus alpha then you have to accept this condition that is capital n is equal to small n otherwise you will reject this current n that is small n you will increment it by 1 and you will return to step 2 and upon completion of the step 2 you will process it further and if it's p equal to the rightmost expression in the relation below that is if you do the steps and if you increase the small n by 1 and if you encounter like if you go to step 2 and do all the process generating random uh, next random number that is rn plus 1 and replacing the current probability by p into rn plus 1 if you do this then uh, this equation that is the relation will be equal to this uh, rightmost expression that is summation i is equal to 1 to n ri is greater than or equal to e raised to minus alpha multiplied by so this thing that is this part is a constant here so that will be removed out and the summation will be applied to the ri that is the uh, random numbers that would be generating that is it will be from i is equal to 1 to n plus 1 that is the next number which it has to take into ri so it will be uh, likewise and so on your distribution will get generated now this was all about the uh, poison distribution in this now you will move on to the poison process so basically for creating the poison process you will need to have a counting process so that counting process uh, is based on this that is the random variable that is n and you have a time that is t greater than 0 and this random uh, variable which you have from this it will be a function of t that is n will be a function of t and it is said to be a poison process with mean lambda and so uh, for solving these kind of problems you need to have some mean some variance and some random variables all so i have took this random variable uh, like x for example see in this and mean have uh, taken as lambda you can take any values like x, y, z, alpha, you can take as lambda, gamma, any values which you like. And uh, this poison process, like now uh, 
uh, you have to construct the poison process from this then uh, you need to uh, strictly follow these two conditions that is an arrival occurs one at a time means one at a time one arrival will occur now uh, consider the example of a barber shop like the hairdresser shops you have uh, like at one at a time one customer will uh, come into the shop and sit in a place and if the next customer gets served and all these uh, things are done then this customer will be served so that's how it occurs and uh, the second condition is that the counting process or the counting function you have it has stationary increments now what does this mean now the stationary increments is like like uh, you have like at particular time interval say at uh, time at 10 o'clock in the morning you had some customers and uh, it was like initially it was observed like you had two customers at 10 o'clock now after five time intervals like at 10 5 it was like uh, three customers or five customers at a uh, like it is one by one so it is like stationary increments at some point of time uh, the increments would be increasing now like this increments need not be uh, like it can be even less than the previous time interval but overall when you calculate you will uh, come to know how many customers in the whole day has visited your shop and did all the activities and so on and now you have this number of arrivals and the number of arrivals during the overlapping time intervals now uh, it will be like that there may be some cases that are like uh, customers may be overlapping by some like uh, some millisecond or seconds so that you have from 0 to t intervals and this is the domain for that and t is equal to t plus s now t plus s this is the stationary increment and the original time and these both are independent random numbers so it can happen at any time uh, it's not fixed obviously you cannot fix it like when the next customer will be coming and when he will be arriving and thus the arrival occurs completely at random so if the, uh, there are two conditions in this if this arrival occurs completely at random and independent of the number of arrivals in the earlier time interval so uh, like I said uh, if you have some customers arriving at 10 o'clock and if it's like two customers arriving at 10 o'clock and it's uh, five customers arriving at 10 5 then it's not like dependent on the previous uh, arrival rate so it's all dependent and it's random and if it's not random then it will follow the poison process according to this uh, distribution which we have laid out here and this uh, poison process would be satisfying the above set assumption like this one now in this uh, since we have the mean lambda you have to incorporate this uh, nt that is since this is a function that is the counting process we have used in this the probability of this capital N is equal to that is the function that is capital N is a function of t is equal to small n would be equal to e raised to minus lambda t like you replace this alpha by lambda with the mean uh, and multiplied by t and you have this equation that is lambda d which goes in the numerator raised to n divided by n factorial and you have for this t greater than or equal to 0 which you had here and you have n is equal to 0 1 2 up till infinite so this is all about the Poisson distribution and the Poisson process. It's very simple uh, for calculating the problem. So this is all about this uh, Poisson distribution and the Poisson process in the computer simulation model. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.